outside though, you know, outside of these shows, there have been some rise in violence in the city, especially um, we in Queens, in my borough of Queens, there's a lot of shootings going on lately. They just shot, a, uh, shot and killed a friend of mine, Taheem Bryan. I know you've been seeing him all over the headlines, man. What, what do you say about, you know, the death of Taheem and all of this, this, this gun violence that's been rising? You know, my prayer is peace and blessings to you, peace and comfort to the family. That's not enough. Like we, it, I think folks are tired of, of the prayers, so we got to see some some action, and we can't pretend like it's not happening. Gun violence on the rise, not just in New York City, in Albany, in Syracuse, in Rochester, Buffalo. That's just in New York State, Detroit, Chicago, DC, anywhere in the country, gun violence is up, um, and we can't ignore that. And there's a bunch of things. One, this this country has a demonic obsession with guns. It's like out of control. And so, one, we need our Congress people to do something about the flow of guns that's coming in, period. But what we're not doing well locally is dealing with the demand of violence. So even if the guns are there, people don't gotta pick it up and make these permanent solutions for very temporary problems. And we could do a lot there. There's no excuse, you need accountability. If you're shooting up the street, like there's no excuse for that. You have to have accountability for that. That's a problem. But as a government, we're not doing what we need to do to get at that demand, and there's a lot of ways and evidence-based models that have worked that people are not thinking about and doing. We're trying to change that here in New York. Uh, the, the, and the crazy part is it was working in 2018, 2019. We had those numbers so low. The pandemic came. We knew it was going to come. We warned people that you can't have this trauma. You can't have this unemployment, this homelessness, mental health, and don't think that something's going to happen. Everything is getting worse. Suicides are up. And so we have to deal with that in a real way. And I think people got caught slipping and people are paying a very high price for that. And it's just, it's just, it's unacceptable. Yeah. I know you caught, um, still a serious note, but on a lighter note, I know you caught Ghostface and Ray and Capadonna on the stage with the mayor. And one of Ghostface's first things, he said, you gotta fix them elevators, man. This is beautiful. Man. You know what that part is got down here? I appreciate you, champ. Hell yeah, let's go, let's go. Blazing, right? we, gotta get, we gotta fix these elevators, baby. We need them fixed. Let's go. Yo. You know, fix them in the... Yo, Jack. NYCHA, we have failed NYCHA at every single level, man. City, state, and federal level. And when you look at those failures, like, it's crazy because when when they came to NYCHA during the COVID, and people weren't there wearing their masks and stuff, and I was like, same way you gotta come with empathy, it's like, they were like, yo, now you care about us? Now the COVID, we've been asking you to fix the elevators, rats and roaches, and now all of a sudden you care. Same thing when we're like, you know, we, we have to tell folks, you know, police and law enforcement, they have a role to play in public safety. They're not equate, you can't equate the two. And very often they try to overuse police to solve a bunch of problems. And then people are like, oh, but you know, the community, they're asking for police and this and that. And I say, well, one, we're trained to think that that's the only thing, but two, even though they have a role to play, that same community has been asking you to fix the elevators. They've been asking you to fix their schools. They've been asking you to deal with the mold. You didn't hear none of that? Nobody heard those asks? The only thing you hear about is police? And the fact of the matter is, if you had fixed a lot of those other things, we wouldn't need the police to try to fix on the back end what y'all are failing to fix on the front end. And we've been saying this for a long time. Again, not as an excuse to pick up a gun and start blasting and killing people. That's just unacceptable. But we as government need to recognize what we have to do to prevent that from happening. And the focus so much is on the punishment and this and that, which I understand, you know, you gotta have accountability. But how about we put some money in for the prevention in the same way? Right. 